In this session, we will discuss about sodium ion battery. These batteries are rechargeable battery that uses mainly sodium ions as its charge carriers. That means here the sodium ions are moving between the electrons. Its cell construction and the working principles are identical with lithium ion battery. Only the difference is in the place of lithium, here uh, we are using the sodium as the cathode material. Nowadays, these batteries getting more attention for large scale energy storage uh, because of the natural abundance, low cost, and environmental friendliness of sodium atoms. So, these batteries have more charge cycles compared to lithium ion battery and develops a potential of 3 volts. Now let us see the construction of sodium ion battery, which is uh, same as that of lithium ion battery, only the difference is in the place of lithium, here we are using sodium ions. Here also, uh, this battery contains a container which is made up of stainless steel or aluminium ion alloy. And uh, here also, the anode is made up of copper foil layers on which graphite is placed and the cathode is made up of aluminium foil layers on which sodium cobalt oxide is placed but in uh, lithium ion battery here we are using cathode we are using lithium cobalt oxide but uh, here we are using sodium cobalt oxide and the electrolyte used is Sodium hexafluorophosphate dissolved in organic solvents like uh, propylene carbonate and ethylene carbonate with some gelling agent. These two electrons are separated by a separator which is made up of polypropylene. This separator separates the cathode and anode and allows the movement of sodium ions from anode to cathode and cathode to anode. And finally, these two electrons are connected to voltmeter. This is the cell representation. Here, uh, anode side, the graphite on uh, copper foil that is in contact with sodium hexafluorophosphate that is in contact with um, sodium cobalt oxide on aluminium foil. Next, we will see the working principle of sodium ion battery so here during charging of battery the sodium ions present in the layers of sodium cobalt oxide are oxidized which liberating electrons and sodium ions and the liberated electrons uh, move through the external circuit and the sodium ions move through the electrolyte solution at ca cathode, what happens is I have written uh, X plus Y Na ions present in Na in sodium cobalt oxide. That means uh, Na X plus Y COO2. On ionization, what happens is out of uh, X plus Y ions of sodium, Y number of sodium ions will move towards anode and combines with this graphite and forms. C6NAY, you can clearly see it here. So at graphite electron, these sodium ions are reduced to sodium atoms and are inserted back into the layers of graphite. So, and the liberated electrons are moved through the external circuit to form electrical energy. So when all the uh, sodium ions moved from cathode to anode, then all are stored in the layers of graphite. That means the battery is fully charged and we can ready to use it. This is about the uh, charging reaction of sodium ion battery. Similarly, uh, during discharging of battery, what happens is at anode, the sodium atoms present in the graphite layers are oxidized, the liberating electrons and sodium ions. So whatever sodium present in the anode along with the graphite in the form of 
C6 uh, NaY will dissociate and move towards cathode through electrolyte solution. And it will form NaX plus Y COO2. At the same time, the liberated electrons move through the external circuit to produce electrical energy. You can clearly observe it here. So when all the sodium ions have moved back from anode to cathode, then the battery is fully discharged and needs to charging up again. Now let us see the applications of sodium ion battery. These batteries are uh, used in UPS applications uh, in the telecommunications sector, which is also used in uh, stationary energy storage applications, which is uh, also used in large scale storage of renewable energy. 